Okay, hello everyone. So today I'm going to show you how to uh, edit the .conf file for DOSBox 0.74 for RetroPy, basically. So first thing you want to do is you want to go to your Windows-based computer and open up uh, Windows Explorer and two forward slashes and type in RetroPy. It shouldn't matter if it's capitalized or lowercase. So you want to go to configs right there and go to PC and you want to open this up with um, text or notepad, I'm sorry, just like that. And you can go in here and change stuff. So you don't really have to mount the drive because it's automatically mounted but uh, if you want to know how to do that you could just type this in but it's going to mount to this directory anyway so if you want to mount it to some other directory you could do that that's the command for it so I'm just going to comment that out it's not going to matter. So when you're in here you could uh, change the settings or preferences for um, DOSBox. So this is called DOSBox SVN. I guess it's not called 0 0.74 but it's a basically the same thing. So you just I changed a few things full screen to true before it was false. Um, Everything here I just left the same. I just left everything here the same except for cycle. I changed it to 1000. I could change it to 2000 if I want. And to use this, it's Control F12 for cycling up and Control F11 for cycling down. So, just so you know. CPU cycles at maximum. Let's not comment this out, but I'll just show you that this this does work if you use it. So everything here is good, I think. You don't have to change anything else here. You just have to remember a few things like you have to know the IRQ code. IRQ number and DMA number uh, when you're doing manual settings for Sound Blaster. Sometimes you may have to do that. So uh, I'm just going to save that. And that's it. And then go back to uh, my um, Raspberry Pi with RetroPy on it. Back to my RetroPi. Um, so I want to restart it in order for the changes to go into effect. Just restart emulation station just like that. And go back to DOS box. You could run the games like this just I put the games into the ROMs directory already. Um, you just have to know the .exe or .com or .bat file. You could run it. I made a tutorial about that earlier. Uh, you could see that in the video descriptions. I mean, uh, the video cards right there. So, um, but I want to start it from DOSBox just have access to the whole directory and just use it like how you would use a uh, retro computer using DOS commands. Just let that start up. Okay, as you can see right here, um, this is what I mounted it to. Uh, C drive is mounted as local directory dash home pi dash retro pi roms pc and when you type this in you have to get this correct it has to be capitalized 
R, capitalized P, or it's not going to mount correctly. But I didn't really have to mount it because um, the drive is already mounted in the local directory. But if you want to mount it to another directory, you can do that. But um, let's uh, start. So DIR. So all the games that you saw on DOSBox um, directory is, is here, basically. And I can access it. Um, I could run the games like this, Neat War. Okay. Use the mouse and everything. Just select my enemies. Okay. Press Control F12 to get the speed up a little bit. F12 make it a little bit faster. Let's see. Okay, this works. Hmm. Okay, control C was the exit out of there. And to get out, you just press exit. Just like that. So you could um, access the game or games through uh, the DOSBox directory, which is in ROMs, RetroPie, ROMs, PC. And then I put all the games in there already so I can access it like that, which is pretty good. Um, and you could change the settings, the .conf file to uh, make it run better or whatever okay so that's it so I do have videos on uh, how to configure DOSBox uh, .conf file and um, I'll leave that in the end cards again so you could see that if you want to so anyways thanks for watching by Ace 1000KS1975 signing out